Hi guys, um, so to start with, you're gonna need two strips of wafer paper. So they are three centimeters wide, and this one is about 15 centimeters uh, long. And this one is three centimeters wide, and it's um, the length of the wafer paper. So it's like 20, 21 centimeters. So to start with, you're going to have to cut like super, super thin strips of paper. And don't worry, you're not going to have to do the whole of the strip for this one. You're just going to have to do um, four centimeters long for this one. So that's the very center of your dandelion. And as you can see, it's really, really thin strips. So it helps to not close your scissors all the way through. Um, because if you do, when you when you finish cutting, it kind of cuts the little strips that you're making. So it's best to just, um, like, like so, to just cut, but never really close your scissors. So you're, you're gonna do the, the heart of the dandelion that you can see there. So this is flower wire. You make a hook. So just leave the leave it an open hook and make it like about one centimeter in length. I'm gonna try to put the inches measurements um, in the in sorry, I, I'll put little comments with that because I don't know the measurements in inches. So you just leave your hook open, do it like one centimeter of length, then you take some um, some food coloring powder one in yellow, and then you just go over the strips and kind of try to oversaturate your pencil, so your paintbrush, so that it really gets into the wafer paper. And don't like do it with a heavy hand and go both sides this way that you'll have like a nice um a nice like really shiny color and um really bright color sorry and make sure that you don't go um see you're gonna have to see i left uh, a part that's not done that doesn't have any color on it and that's where you're gonna add some glue which is coming right now no, it's not. So that's four centimeters. Here I'm showing you that it's four centimeters. Um, so that is going to be glued onto the wire with this, which is just water, bits of wafer paper. You wait a little bit and you heat it up so it gets kind of all together. Uh, it makes like a, a nice glue. And you tr you put it there and make sure that you don't do the little trips strips that you cut that you don't put any glue on them but just at the bottom of your strip then you're gonna insert it into your hook and now close your hook tight if you can pliers help so that it's not gonna be moving and that you're gonna have a, a strong base for your flower and then you're gonna roll it roll it over the the wire So the, the glue I'm using, you just, you put very little of it because if you put too much, then it's going to soak your wafer paper and it's going to fall off the wire. So put too little and then add a little bit as it, as you go if you need more, but do it always this way. You can always add more, but you can't take some away. So with wafer paper, you always work with too little than too much because wafer paper will just get back to liquid state otherwise. So now you just roll it as tight as you can and on itself. So you don't go like higher up or down. You just keep it on itself like a roll. And that's the center, like the, the little kind of bud of your dandelion. And if you look at a dandelion, it's actually um, the, the center part is kind of shorter. So this is what we're going to do right now. We're going to cut it so that it's it's um, it's shorter. So I'd say it's like a bit less than a centimeter that I took off. And then you're going to try to shape it 
So um, the idea is that it kind of goes back on itself. So you, you try to curve it back onto like an imaginary center that you that you have in your head. <laughs> Sorry. Um, if you guys have any uh, issues with my explanation, please don't hesitate to um, to comment and I'll be happy to uh, to type explanations if you if it's easier. Um, so here I'm using this tool, but you can really use any tool you, you want to curve that back in, into itself. And um, also you could have curved that strip before rolling it and before gluing it. I think it would have been even easier to do this way, but I didn't think of it when I made it. So make sure that it's really tight. It's important that you always kind of where the glue is, you always kind of go back and press and make sure that it's really firmly onto the wire. And now you're gonna do the same thing, very, very thin strips again. Uh, again, you're gonna work with like a, another um, four centimeter length uh, strip, yep. And then you're going to glue it. And uh, you're gonna color it first, but I forgot I put the glue first. But you color it. Just make sure that you put a bit less color on them, because if you look at it, then the lion, these ones are like brighter, like lighter in color, and they have like little, little dots of black at the end of it, which we're gonna put at the end of the, the flower making at the end of the video. Um, so these ones you don't put as much yellow onto onto them. And now we're gonna do the um, the outside paddles. So um, if you look at a dandelion again, like I can't like I can't stress enough that if you do anything in, you just try to get models. Go into your garden, get a few dandelions, put them on your table, and check to see what they lo look like. So um, I kind of recut my strip to give it a bit more of a curl and not a very straight line. And then now I'm cutting strips, but as you can see, they are much wider than the ones I was making earlier. And here, sorry. So the idea there is that you start a little bit thicker. I'm, I'm gonna get onto it, sorry. <laughs> this was breaking, but it, it's fine. So um, you start with like thicker ones than the one that you've made. And as you go, you have you want to get them thicker and thicker and thicker so that up to the point that it gets to like about a millimeter wide at the end so i'm gonna try to show you that and that takes a while to do that's pretty much the longest i uh, think you have to do about the flower it's the cutting so the idea is that when you're gonna roll it as the the outer petals are gonna get thicker and thicker because you roll it on its side so same again, you color it and you're gonna glue it and make sure when you start to glue it onto your flower that you start with the thinnest strips and end up with the with the bigger ones. And I wish we could see, but we can't really see on the video. So now you're gonna start a little bit off the base. See the base is, is further down and you're putting it a bit up so that the, the petals are a little bit more uh, going out a little bit further. So I hope it makes sense. And now try to really roll it on itself because it kind of wants to twist, but you have to push it back onto itself. And um, this way your, your petals will be just the way you want them to be. Again, be very light handed on the, on the glue and, um, and really press on the base so that you have a firm base to start with onto your wire like really at the base of the flower it has to be like strong and now you can shape your flower a little bit so you're gonna open up your petals and you're pretty much done with the the petal part of it so now we're gonna go on to the the green base and i apologize i have no idea what it's called so I'm gonna keep going up, going with the the petal word, even though they're not petals. So, so you know. <laughs> um, so you just take a strip of um, wafer paper. You're still with the three centimeter. It's about like three on three centimeter wide and long. 
And you're going to do like thicker strips, about like a bit bigger than a millimeter wide. And then you're going to go back on them at the very tip of it and then going back to the base on an angle so that you're going to get like little dents so that it's like um, teeth. You're going you're gonna to see better. I'm going to show you the results. And then you, you turn your paper over and this way you have nice little pointy strips. So turning around, you start at the tip, going back to the base. I think I think you can see on the on the screen what I'm talking about. There you go. So just a note on that. I kind of went. Um, I made the strip too long. I think if you make them shorter, it's better because it has a thick base and these petals, kind of petals, um, uh, they they are not very long actually even though they look a little long, but not as long as I made them. So I had to go back here. Yeah, I'm just putting it on with a little glue like we did earlier. Um, see, I'm just adding a little strip of paper because I wanted to make them tighter and they were too long for me. I think it's important to leave enough space like to make a, a wider base. And now we're gonna get onto the tiny little ones that are kind of going backwards. And for this, I used uh, this puncher, which is about like um, two, three centimeter wide, I think three centimeter wide. I'm going to check and put that on too. And uh, if you don't have that, you can just do like a, a, a like five branch star and you can make two of them and uh, or just one of them and that will work too. So I'm just saturating, saturating it, hard to say, with uh, some of that powder, the green powder. I only have one type, but I'm going to go back on the flower with some gel food coloring. I'm punching a little hole in the middle. And this is just so that I, when you put the glue in, you don't have to rip the paper. It just goes in um, through the wire easily. So I'm putting a bit of glue and it has a bit of powder into it. So it helps to get a stronger uh, coloring. And now you just, you just push it on. So once it has dried, and that's like at least 20 minutes, I'd say 15, 20 minutes, it, it's not completely dry, but it has dried off some. Um, you're going to come back and shape these. So the longest ones you've made, the first ones that you're putting on with the teeth kind of um, shape, you're going to shape them inwards, as you can see. So be careful because they break really easily. And then the smaller ones, um, the outer ones, you making them outwards. So going back towards the, the stalk. And... It breaks super easily, but if it does, and it did for mine, I think I broke two, um, you get a little bit of that glue and just press it onto your flower and it will get onto it. And don't worry about it being uh, curved. It doesn't matter, but it's good that it has you have it on um, so that you don't have like a hole in there. And be very gentle. <laughs> So for the petals here, the outer ones, I'm also going to curve them and they're going kind of outwards. You don't want them to be all even, so kind of go. Same again, take a flower and go as you can see the other flower is and that's the best way really to, to make it realistic. And now I'm going back on it with some um, some flower, florist uh, tape and because the stalk on a dandelion is pretty thick I'm actually doubling it so I'm doing like I'm covering it covering it it no <laughs> it's so hard to say uh, one way and then the other way again I'm going back so um, you could even go another time and you could even do like um if you don't want to use wire, you could use a, like a spaghetti. You just cook the spaghetti and then let it dry in the shape you want. And that's a great way to make um, realistic looking stalks for your flower. And you can even use like an extra wide spaghetti brand for these ones because they, the, the dandelions are really thick. 
And I actually have some that I use just for that. But this time I just used the wire, it was easier. But I think it's great when you want to put something in a cake and you want it to be all edible, then you don't have to use the wire. And if you wanted to do that, for um, for the leaves afterwards, you can also do them. Just don't leave a very thin strip at the at the start of the leaf, but it doesn't really need the wire. It just is it's nice if you want to shape it, but otherwise you, you can avoid to put it on. So I'm going back with some, um, some gel food coloring that I'm mixing with my glue, which I didn't, um, I didn't say, but my glue is kind of thick and it's important that it's thick. Um, this way I can control the color better. So I kind of made a darker color on the base and the first out, the first um, green petals, but the very small green petals, I left, I left them in a, in a paler, paler green color. And then um, if you look at the back of your dandelion, it has some kind of color on the outside of some of the petals and some only, some, yes, yeah, some only. Um, so I used, uh, I used some uh, green and yeah, you can see them there, some green and red to do that. And that really helps with the realistic look of the dandelion in the end. So there's like maybe eight petals at the back. And now we're gonna add some little dots of black. So that's for the very thin strips that we put, the second one we did. And now we're gonna get onto the leaves. So to make the leaves, I used some dandelion leaves onto a clear surface and I'm covering it, covering them with uh, some wafer paper and with a pencil, I'm just, uh, I'm just copying the shape of them. That's simple as that. And the great thing with um, pencils is that it's graphite, graphite, I don't know how to say it, um, but it's non-toxic so you can use it on wafer and you know it's safe. And thanks to my daughter who was bringing me more and more um, as I was doing it. And so you're just going over to the shape and mark where the stock is also. So it helps to know where to, the wire is going to be. And now you take another piece of wafer paper with some of that glue and some green food coloring, gel or powder, doesn't matter. And then don't do it like me. Remember to put your wire in between so that you can put the wire where you want it to be, which I've got. And I'm going to add it now, there. So because I added it too late, I didn't put it up uh, high enough. You don't go all the way up, but almost like, so it helps to, uh, to maintain the shape of your leaf. And then you're just going to finish uh, painting it, kind of wait in between so it dries a little and then go back and, and do the other side. I'm adding some uh, some red where the stock, stocky bit, I don't know what it's called, yeah, the stocky bit of the leaf is, and that helps also it, with the realistic effect. Again, look at your leaves and then you're gonna see how it is. It's important when you put the glue in between the two wafer paper bits that you really make sure that it's, um, it's, it, it goes all the way to the sides, that's important. Otherwise, when it dries, it's going to go, um, it's going to kind of pull, uh, pull apart from one another, and that's not gonna be nice. <laughs> okay, so you just repeat the same process, process sorry, with all of your leaves, and you can make another dandelion if you wish. I made a closed one, kind of following the same idea. Uh, just closed and you can make another open one that's really up to you and then you're gonna see how I'm adding there the um, sorry the the red part just following this talk and there I can't stress enough really that you you just take a model and that goes for anything you want to do uh, in a trompe kind of way with cake is just try to find um, a model a 3D one, and that's the best way to, to do anything with that. So here I'm using some uh, melon color, and that's in sugar flare, 
and sugar flare. I don't know if it's for all of them, but for this project, for this color, for the melon, it's great because it's very, very thick. It's a very thick gel coloring and I'm just thinning it a tiny bit with um, our glue. And that really helps because I can kind of, um, I can add color onto my dandelion because I want it super bright because that's what I liked about the dandelion in the garden and this is what I wanted to, to get out of it. But also it's great because you can kind of, um, it helps to kind of reshape your dandelion and kind of make it stronger in the shape you want it to be. So you have to be very light-handed again, but um, um, but it's a great way to really give it the shape you want it to have and to curve the, the center also into itself. And I added some more in the middle, which I didn't really show there. And if you're not happy, you can always go back with something. And, and that's it. If you guys, guys enjoy these, you can uh, find the other one for the flower part. It's another tutorial I'm making. It's going to be out super soon. And please give me a little like. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And see you soon.